Moxley versus the Butcher as the main event. What did you think of that? You, we both love the Butcher. He got to, he was in the spotlight. Um, yeah, give me your thoughts on that. Well, let me tell you, Dom, that image of the Butcher standing behind Moxley, it was just like, yes. Like, as yes. soon as I saw that, I was like, yes. <laughs> like, because the Butcher looks like an absolute savage out there. Like, he would, like, rip you apart. Um, and he's just, he's got this very intense look. Uh, he's got he's got a perfect build, I think, for a guy that looks like him. Like, I love the Butcher. Love him. He's still pretty green, though. And it showed in the match. Um, his timing was very off at times. Um, so I think he needs a little bit more polish. Uh, but, man, a million-dollar look. Main event look, uh, without question. Uh, not a big fan of uh, him also kind of being like, you know, like the one of the minions of Eddie Kingston, which we've discussed before. I honestly, really, I think the best thing you could do for the butcher is a uh, consistent training, uh, multiple days per week. Uh, whether you know, like leading up to Dynamite, so like get him in the gym with somebody on like the weekend. Uh, get just kind of help to polish what he's got because for only being in the business for five years, he's doing well for himself. Um, yeah. but let's let's start to polish it and, and work on his timing. Um, and then the other thing I would do is completely separate him from everybody, make him his own separate entity, and let's let's let him get to work because that guy has star written all over him. I I think uh, is, again this is kind of more of a slow play though. I think he's fine still with the blade, and uh, if you honed it down, if you whittled uh, like the alliance that Eddie Kingston has just to the butcher and the blade, I think that's totally fine. But like. You got to hone it down, I think. I can't, I don't think you should, Eddie should be spinning all these plates, you know, so to speak with it. But, um, yeah, uh, I really like the butcher a lot. And I thought, like, that image of him lurking behind Moxie was awesome. And it was pretty neat because, like, you see that image and Eddie Kingston's talking on the mic. He's like, You're going up against the butcher. So it's like, it's like a boss fight, you know, that you run into yeah. in a video, video game. game. Like, yeah. On a video game, that's what it is. It's like okay, like I immediately think of like the Ninja Turtles arcade game that was on the Nintendo, where you like have to go through, you go through Bebop, Rocksteady, <laughs> you go through all these guys. The Butcher is one of those guys where like you're Moxley and you're hammering away, and he starts to flash a little bit and flash and flash <laughs> until you right. can kind of put him out. And so I really like that. And um, yeah, and plus, hey, you know, uh, the Butcher like got some rub being in a world title match not everybody's in an aw world title match so that's pretty awesome so like you have that feather in your cap already if you're the butcher and you can just go back to that later on and uh you established another talent like on wednesday night i feel like doing that like another guy that you can really put your legs behind and i think uh the fact that he was even in that main event tells you what they think about him too so um, you know, uh, long term for the butcher, he like that moment, him standing behind Moxley and like looking very intense. It had like a real Undertaker, Mankind kind of a vibe to me, and I think that that's the position you put him in. I've mentioned this before. Like he's very clearly fashioned after uh, Bill the Butcher um, uh, from uh, Gangs of New York, um, right? Uh, yeah, by Daniel Day Lewis. Um, and I, whenever I would see Daniel Day Lewis in that role, I would always think of uh, of Jack the Ripper, and I, I I could really see him nailing, absolutely nailing a gimmick like that with his intensity. But he could very easily fit into like kind of like the spooky, scary role of AEW. I think he transitioned.